Welcome to Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today, I've, uh, this is my third, no, fourth video of the day. One, showcasing my uh, Father's Day beers, as you can see on the shelf, I think. Uh, I've done two real ale reviews, two <laughs> banging real, real ales. There they go, look at them two puppies. And uh, for my first spirits review, I'm going to do De Serrano. Now, this has been here a while. With spirits, you can open them, seal the bottle, they'll last years. Don't chuck them away. Anything above a certain percentage, 20%, I'd say, you know, don't chuck it away. Keep it. You can do a taste test. You know, put your finger, get a finger bit on your bottle, get a finger bit on your hand, rather, finger. Taste it like that. Unless, it, if it tastes nasty, then chuck it. If it tastes okay, drink it. You know, don't be chucking stuff away. Di Serrano, made in Italy. They reckon it's the world's favourite Italian liqueur. It probably is, to be fair. It's an almond liqueur. It's 28% alcohol volume. It's strange, but I never get the full strength from it. I mean, I've drank loads of it, and for some reason it never puts me on my back. So it's uh, it's an odd one, that. You know, 28% you think, nah, it's nowhere near 28%. So we look at Asda, and their description of it. Tasting notes. This Serrano captures the senses with its amber colour, rich aroma, and incomparable taste, which has made it the world's favourite Italian liqueur. Yes, I'll agree with the amber colour. Rich aroma, like an almondy aroma. So yeah, it's not bad. An incomparable taste. It, well, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that later. For reviews, let's have a look at some reviews. Now with De Serrano, you can either have it on its own. Uh, most people have it with Coca-Cola or Pepsi-Cola. Somebody here is saying that um, they have it with ginger ale. That's a newbie on me. Certainly Cherry Coke comes to mind. But, I've not got a spirit glass at the moment, so I've got a nice Stella Artois glass to try. I'm only going to try a bit because I've had two, bo two bottles of beer already and I've, I'm cooking dinner, even though it is a Father's Day. So we've had this. Um, year and a half, two years. So don't be chucking spirits away just because you think they've gone out of date. You know, spirits aren't like, like bottles of wine, you know, a bottle of white or rosé, you know, more than a week, once you've opened it, chuck them away probably. Bottle of red, lasts a lot longer. Almond, straight away the smell of almond. Di Serrano, if you look at your De Serrano alternatives or Amaretto alternatives on the market from the likes of anywhere from Lidl to Audi, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, you know, all the others, you'll get rain, ranges of strength from 14 to about 21%. Soiree is, I think the Soiree might be 21%. Uh, a lot of the others are 14. So it's something to think about, you know, in strength wise. Although strength doesn't mean anything when it comes to taste. But the aroma, the colour, that lovely, it's, it's an amber colour, isn't it? Um, the aroma, really strong almond. Um, the only one comparable to this, in my eyes, 
is the uh, Audi Salabella Bella, Bella Lucci Di Serrano, uh, Di Amaretto rather, and um, <clears throat> that's got a, a really nice almond taste, maybe too much almond, but this, beautiful, beautiful taste, you know, for that almond, I mean, I love almond biscuits, and uh, you know, the ones you get from Morrison's with the, the biscuit, and it's got the almond bits on top, and you eat them. My mouth's watering. Let me get a drink now. Oh. Oh. A lovely sweetness to it. I don't know what the sugar content is, but you can guarantee it's going to be high. You know, and uh, definitely got legs. Which is something I learned off a wine tasting course. You swivel it around the glass. If you can see a film on the inside of the glass, they say it's got legs. What that means, I can't remember. <laughs> I was drunk that day. Oh. Only when you taste it um, on its own can you... Um, get the full strength of it, you know, when it's washed down in cola. So, on a cola, say if, if I was having cola with this, I would chuck that much amaretto in and that much cola, simply because, you know, I can't be bothered with going backwards and forwards to the bar or to the beer room, as we are. But neat, I've never had it neat before. This uh, is taste wise beautiful, you know. Oh. A fantastic liqueur that leaves a bit on your throat as it goes down. A lovely smell. So, next time you go to a pub, or if you drink it at home, just have, have instead of mixing it with cola, have a bit on its own. Just, you know, further the glass, on its own, give it a try, you know. I mean, it might be better to have it with a bit of, like you would with a whiskey, where you have it with some ice, you know, do it with that. And even with, even with the, what we call, it's got legs, where it leaves a film, you can see the film on the inside, even like, like a minute after I'd, I'd actually swirled it round. When I worked at Sainsbury's, this is one of the biggest sellers, especially when it went on offer. Uh, they had the 50 CL bottle, and then they bought out the 70 CL bottle, and obviously everybody likes uh, value for money. <clears throat> Taste-wise, this is the leader of the Amaretto's. You know, there's, there's no comparison. This is the best. Price-wise, you know, you pay for the best. You pay twice as much for the amount you get in a 70 CL bottle as you do anywhere else. So twice as much, maybe a bit more, you know. So that's something. But you are getting 28% volume alcohol, whereas with the others, you get anything from 14 to 21%, you know, something in that range. So anything up to 21% is fermented alcohol. It's not distilled. Anything above 20 odd percent is distilled alcohol. This this has got to be distilled. I'll be absolutely gobsmacked if it isn't. And you can't read anything on there. I've had two drinks already, so I've no chance of reading. But, <clears throat> very nice. Now, out of five, for my very first spirit review. Oof. There's, there's a reason why it's the best it's the best Italian liqueur in the world, but it's also in Britain, because obviously I don't know what's popular around the world, we've all got our own taste uh, things, but in Britain, it's one of the best in Britain as well. So, out of five, it's a 4.7. You know, it, it is close to the pinnacle of, you know, what it should be as a liqueur, 
as for what it is, it is one of the best. Whether it's for you, that's another thing. Oh, the intenseness of the flavour. It's just right though. You know, it's not nastily intense, but it's, a, you know, it's nice, it, you know. And uh, I don't have any more to drink tonight because I'll be bladdered after that. Beautiful. That all, you know, the almondy taste, the amaretto. Absolutely fantastic. And thank you for watching the first spirit review of Rikers Bears, Wise and Spirits. Thanks for watching.